Here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, A-plus weather today. Temperatures topping out roughly between 80 and 85, what you would more or less expect for uh, late June, almost July. Head outside in the high temps today, including 84 in Providence, 85 Taunton, Smithfield, 84, upper 70s to low 80s along the south shore. Now, the sea breeze has kicked in from south to north. So, in other words, cooler ocean air is advancing to the north, so these temperatures have dropped off in many areas now into the mid and upper 70s. You can clearly see the sea breeze at Easton's Beach. There's the flag and that wind is coming in off the water right now. So coastal communities at this hour, a lot cooler than inland spots. I mean, it's still beautiful in Newport. It's at the 73 degrees, but it is several degrees warmer in Smithfield. Of course, northern suburbs, no influence with the ocean here uh, coming in at the 82 degrees. So summer warmth is here. I mean, nothing extreme. However, I would Pick Friday is probably being the warmer day. We're thinking temperatures topping out upper 80s to near 90, but warm temperatures through uh, the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, uh, temperatures both days are in the 80s. It's a cloud sun mixture. Each day has the chance of an isolated thunderstorm. I think the better chance is on Sunday, Saturday. Uh, certainly not a washout, but that chance is there. And then dry weather to start the uh, holiday week next week. Satellite and radar composite showing a cloud sun mixture, but essentially quiet. A line of storms in upstate New York is tracking off to the east. As these approach tonight, they will weaken and dissipate. So not anticipating any rain or thunder from this. And then most of the Midwest, the weather is quiet, and that belongs to us for the next uh, couple of days. Getting real close and walk you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening at 7 o'clock. Now, the one thing we'll watch for later tonight, especially near the coastline, for fog to form. You can see the gray in here. This is 1 o'clock in the morning. So low clouds and fog likely mild and humid temperatures in the 60s. Now take note early tomorrow morning 5 6 a.m. this gray shading indicating uh, low clouds and fog burning off rapidly and you can see developing sunshine in a warm day by 2 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're in the at least the middle 80s inland and upper 70s right along the immediate shoreline and the beaches tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. We're looking pretty good and then later tomorrow night the fog and low clouds rolling back in along the south shore. Tomorrow morning, early clouds and fog at sunrise burns off to sunshine. Temperatures are already going through the 70s to eventually middle 80s. Uh, tomorrow afternoon by 3 o'clock, 85, the beaches will be held. Back here we go, speaking of the beaches. Tomorrow, held in the upper 70s, that fog early in the morning. Then skies becoming at least partly sunny. Seven-day forecast. Yeah, we're pretty warm to borderline hot on Friday. Temperatures at least away from the coastline in the upper 80s and a little cooler. Uh, near the ocean with temperatures uh, essentially in the 70s. Weekend forecast, an isolated thunderstorm Saturday afternoon, a very warm day, but not a washout. I think a slightly better chance of an afternoon thunderstorm on Sunday with temperatures in the 80s. The long-range forecast for the 4th of July week next week looking good. So stay tuned on that one as uh, the weather should be uh, less humid next week. Yeah, one thing we didn't want to hear was the word unsettled. So that's really good news for the holiday. That's week. the long range outlook. So check back. All right, Tony, yeah. thanks. More coverage.